Hey, I'm Eric. And I be Tim. And we are D and D Adventure of Board Games. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so today we're gonna do an unboxing of a relatively old game. It's called uh, Pirates Quest for Davy Jones Gold. Arr! Arr! <laughs> Would you stop <laughs> the pirate shit? Um, now I actually got this at uh, True Four Games, Fayetteville, Georgia. Uh, John had a bunch of them for twelve dollars. Okay. Uh, you can still get this stuff online, like eBay, Amazon, things like that. You can't find it really in the stores that much anymore. This isn't this isn't one of the Mantics, is it? This is somebody else. This is somebody else. This okay. is actually by Wiz Kids. Okay. Uh, and when you got these, if I remember correctly, they came almost packaged, kind of like Magic the Gathering. You get a few ships or something in each pack. You never knew what you were getting. Things like that. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to open it. Still does a better job than me. <laughs> and, we'll start pulling it out. Now, first thing, extremely timely rule book. Which is good. Which doesn't want to open. <laughs> And apparently it's got some um, online, where you can go online and get some more things for it. Which I'm sure would be a uh, uh, necessity to enjoy the game fully. Now it shows different things about the, the ships. Um, now in, in, the, in here too, you've got like crew, you've got gold, you've got uh, islands that you get. Um, and sea monsters apparently. Yeah. Oh, you know, I wasn't expecting that. I thought this was going to be kind was, of paper. I was going to say, it looks like it's a laminate type... Uh, Plastic. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Kind of reminds me of when, when you're a kid and you were mm. playing with uh, playing with the cars on the little road map. <laughs> yeah, I really wasn't expecting it to be plastic. It kind of reminds me of um, when I was a kid, I got uh, Guns and Navarone and it came, the old place that used to come with stuff like this and... Yeah, yeah, you got that plastic. Yeah, that's, a, that's smell. like the first thing I smell. Now, I, I wanna I wanna make a point here, and I'm gonna put this back in front of the cameras. I want you to see this. I don't know if this is the intention of the game makers here, but we all know when it comes to miniatures and board games, you've got stuff, and you have to buy the little plastic boxes with the dividers. If that's what these guys have done, if this is what WizKids designed, this game will literally be your game box for everything because you don't have tiles or a hardened board. You fold this thing back up, you fit it right on top, you throw the top on it, and there it is. You know, that is really, really awesome. If that's what they did, if it is, Kudos to WizKids. That is that is really um, a really cool addition. Well, like the one I just throw, threw in there. Right. This is apparently the Blackhawk because everything's already, all punched out and already assembled. It's put together. That came from them already assembled. Right. This is what you get. You get a couple of cards and it has the hull and the sails, and they're just a hard cardboard with a little bit of a maybe a laminate on there. Yep. Nothing Something real to keep special. It rigid. Nothing real costly or anything. And if you notice, um, like here, we've got the Night Hunter. The Night Hunter, you got your basic haul, your sails, same thing. Now that's the one thing though is you've got to break these out, put them together. You might use a little bit of glue if you really want to. It's up to you. Um, as I was saying before, you've got your golden crew pieces. Um, um, it looks like a, a captain's card, mm -hmm. Jack Hawkins. And then this game alone, I believe, came with like six or seven ships. There's another one, another one. Uh, there's Blackheart himself. There we go. And another ship. And Wesley, you know. Hello, Princess Bride. There you yeah, go, buddy. Princess That's Bride. That's the Dread Pirate Roberts. Um, and then you've got the dolphin, and the doubloon. Mm-hmm. Uh, must be a Spanish galleon, yeah. Uh, treasure hunter. 
Um, Calico Cat. Now apparently in here too, there's you 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 have oh there it is. I was about yeah, to say you have like, sea monsters. Yeah, there looks like our kraken. Yeah. Yeah. Those are a little squid, basically. Yeah. And, uh, and the sea, sea serpent. serpent. Mm -hmm. The kraken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Some more. Uh, Some more gold. Yeah. That's Davy Jones' treasure, according to that. Yep, there's your uh, there's your sea serpent. But I mean, now I talked to John and he said it's actually a pretty fun game. You really can't get a lot of the stuff anymore. Um, but for twelve some twelve fifty, I mean, you know, it, it, if it's something we play on a Saturday afternoon or a Friday night when we just have like a half hour hour to play. I don't think it's that bad. I, I think the most tedious thing is going to be punching these things out and putting them together. Yeah, but it, it looks like it would actually be pretty goddamn fun just due to the fact that this one that came already assembled looks really good. Um, it's definitely going to add a lot to the gameplay to, you know, sit there and, you know, you're messing with folks and you're going broadside on them and, uh, you know, firing your cannons and... <laughs> I mean, I think the knockout uh, portion of it and putting it together, we're talking, this is something, like a game like this would be something that I would want to play with, you know, young kids, you know, probably, you know, 12, 13, somewhere <clears throat> in there, you know, knock it out, put the things together, read through the rules, and then let's get out there Which, and, honestly, and throw I, a game. Even looking at it, it, the rules don't look like it's long. It's, it looks right. like more explanation of some of this stuff is what takes up a lot of the space. And and I can't imagine it being a, a difficult game uh, for for people to, to catch into and, and, and start rolling with. Well, if you look at the, the, like the Treasure Hunter here, it actually has the stats on the card you're taking the ship off right. of. So, and if we slide all this stuff up, you know, folks, I went to see how hard it would be to get a lot of stuff on eBay. Really cheap. Tim, hand me that tin. We have the tin. I got this tin. Look at this. I mean, it's just slap full of different stuff in here. Different cards, different ships. I think I paid like seven bucks for this yeah that pile there we've got extra gold and these piles here i bought off of one person and there's some more there some more boats one? there yeah there's there's you got two more yeah this one here Stacks i bought off of right one here. person it was like fifteen dollars i think this was like five dollars and all of them seem to come with rules you know assemblies and rules but I mean, they're not hard to come by. It's not expensive. You want to get more ships. And really, I mean, I bought it without playing the thing. Like I said, I just want to see how hard and how cheap it would be. So you're talking, I paid 12. All this was maybe 10. This yeah. was maybe 5. This was maybe 5. All, so we're all talking, I got about 50 what? About, bucks. No, this is like 30. Well, 50 bucks plus the shipping and everything. No, that was including the shipping. Oh, really? Yeah, this was oh, like 30 well. bucks all told. And, um,. I would think that with the amount of of ships and stuff that we have, I would think this is at least what uh, you know two to, to four easily. Oh, you could play more than four. Well, I mean, I'm sure you could, but but two to four easily would be. And like I said, this is this is also considered collectible. So there were people online that you could go and you could get certain ships. And there was one guy that was selling stuff that was like a dollar fifty. It was a dollar and fifty cents per shipping. And you could pick what you wanted out of his list. And there were several that were like that. I mean I was uh I was actually pretty amazed on how easy it was to find certain things. Oh, I am telling you, islands. Yep. Yeah. Had a little islands. And, and stuff I, like that. I'll I'll say this as well. I know one of the things that we talk about while we're unboxing is packaging. All right. I got worried when I saw these thick rubber bands wrapped around here, but when you feel the rigidity of these these cards where the you know all of our ships and everything are in, you gotta uh, punch yeah. them out. 
that is that rubber band it would have had to have been round looped one more time to start bending these cards they're all in very heavy very uh, heavy card very heavy card very heavy plastic wrapping on the outside i mean kudos to whiz kids um on on putting this game together uh it seems like it's a very smart uh layout for for everything that they've done here look forward to look forward to actually experimenting uh, on this one i think we may have to add this one on to the, yeah, the, the great war battles of westeros and and besieged and a couple of the other ones that we want to start doing playthroughs mm -hmm. on because i think that's our next our next to uh, the next step is to start getting some playthrough videos yeah i mean while too. while the while a lot of these kickstarters are in process and we're not getting a the, lot of things. The, the right the things to unbox um now is going to be our time to start doing these playthroughs we haven't forgotten um you know um so we'll start doing these playthroughs and i think yeah you know, i think you're right eric this would be a fun one uh to to throw in there uh to to just play through just to see how it plays who knows there might be some folks watching this and they go dude Pirates are awesome. Pirates are, 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 and I'm gonna get it. And <laughs> and you know, we 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 inspired someone to live out their pirate dream, you know, like the, Pirate Steve from Dodgeball. But it was like I said, I I was in Tree Fort that night, and I just wanted to spend some money. And this, I had been looking this and looking this and looking this, and I was like, twelve dollars. Where am I going wrong with twelve dollars? You could have just came to my house and gave me twelve dollars, but I'm glad that you spent it on the pirate game. Um, you know, it definitely it definitely looks like it is going to be a, a fun one to to play through. I'm actually looking forward to whenever we decide to do it to punching these boogers out and putting these things together. I swear, I swear to God, man, I'm telling you. Some of these, I guarantee you, some of these ships you'll never freaking use, but if I put them together, um, I would set them up and have them sitting out because that looks really cool. And it looks really cool, and it's paper. It's, yeah, it's freaking cardboard, man. Can't go wrong with it. These guys, like I said, one of the smartest games that I've ever, we've ever unboxed and looked at. One of the smartest thought out technically games when it comes to the, the the manufacturing that I've seen thus far, very you know, very the, good. The only drawback with this was it, it's like Magic the Gathering or any type that you get the box cards. You never know. What you you're don't know what get. you're getting. Yeah. So you may get three packs, and all three packs have the same stuff in them. Yeah, but you know, if this had caught on like Magic the Gathering, nobody would care because you would still go out and spend fifty bucks to buy a pack of ships just because uh you know there's that one rare pokeball or whatever you're looking for uh, and you never know what you're going to get i mean it's it, it might be a toss up there but like you said it's been out long enough you go online people will have what you're looking for specifically they do so if you're, there's, if you're, there's a lot of pirates on ebay and amazon so i mean you know and if you beware of the Somali pirates, if you're like me and you like to you. dig through the old game stores that have been around for a long time, they probably still got this stuff sitting around. But anyway, as usual, guys, support your local gaming. Tree Four Games, Fayetteville, Georgia. That's where we're gaming. Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. They just they they're not open Mondays. So I guess winter hours are over. Ha! But like John says, if the lights are on, stop by because they're doing something. And if the lights aren't on and you see people inside, please call 911. That's not cool. <laughs> As always, guys, game on. Game on, folks. <laughs>